Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's going to be a little different. It's going to be a vlog. So I'm thinking about actually doing these vlogs just in December because I have a lot more time um, into the new year and I'm just going to see how it goes. Um, I like my videos, but I just feel like now everybody's doing like the vlog thing you guys want to see more than just like you know sit down videos you guys want to be a part or feel like you know someone and i just with vlogs i feel like i just can't keep up with vlogs so that's why i said let me just do weekly vlogs so today's saturday it is 902 i'm actually about to go to the grocery store i feel horrible y'all so last night I went to this training spot in Brooklyn called Sugar Cane and I really was craving the jerk wings. Um, but if you've been following me like on um, my last video, like life update, I told you guys that I am doing more so like a, a cleanse like diet, like make, making sure to eat cleaner, not a cleanse diet, but just making sure I eat cleaner. Um, so I've been doing a lot of research. I've been buying a lot more like leafy greens and grains and legumes and I feel so much better but yesterday I feel like oh my god after I had those jerk wings I was bloated again I woke up with a headache and that's just not my way of living like I just don't I don't want to do that so anyways I'm about to be on my way um, to the Flatbush Food Corp if you're in Brooklyn I definitely recommend this spot to get like your produce and stuff like that um, you don't have to be a member to shop there which is amazing because most food co-ops they want you to be a member um, but if they have extremely fresh produce and I'm going to go to um, a Caribbean grocery store to get me some soursop because I want to make some tea um, and it just has a lot of health benefits so yeah I'm going to take you on this health journey and I'll see you soon okay so I finally made it to the Flatbush Food Corp Ooh, Flatbush Food Co-op and this is um, where I like to go to get my fresh produce. It is thebomb.com. So let's go inside. Okay, so now this is their like greens and produce. A lot of the times it is like super fresh um, and it's not bad. So like if you look at the prices, here, this is like $3.99 each for the red lettuce, red leaf lettuce, which is not bad. The underline is mm -hmm. very good. They, they have a lot of benefits. Yeah. You know, they grow and they're healthy, healthy. Mm -hmm. So it's very good for the system. They clean you up. Yes. All the your system, blood, pressure, you know, your mind focusing anything. So that's very good. Mm -hmm. The underline. And uh, sharp. You can you, you can have it in salad. Mm -hmm. and you you can make a smoothie also. The chart. Yeah. It's uh, color green. Color green is one of the best also. It is. See, I don't like the taste, but it's taste, good. Taste, you said. Good. Okay. Let's be you steaming, and you mix it like uh, with spinach, like a same. You can the same way like spinach, just steaming, like like 15 minutes, and take it out in hot water, or whatever. Kale also. You can. Yeah, you that's can what I got. The same thing. Kale has a lot of benefits. Also, mm -hmm. you can eat it salad, juice it, and you can mix it with cucumbers, celery, and little piece of ginger or, or turmeric. Just like this. Okay. Like this. But they're very good. Okay, so I got like three bags of groceries. That could probably be a thumbnail. <laughs> um, so first thing I got, and this is new, I never tried this, but this is dandelion greens. He said, the guy at the store said, you know, it has a lot of health benefits, so I'm trying that for the first time. Um, then I got, I think it's called dill or something, no. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot what this is. It's like an alternative to like onion. So he showed me, he told me like if you don't want to use onion, like try this, it's very good and it's more like nutritious. Oh my gosh, it's gonna bother me because I don't know what's called. Okay. Um, so leeks, okay, so I got a leek. This is called leek. 
Um, so it's like an alternative to onion. I never tried it, but I'm gonna try it today. Um, then I got a couple of seasonings. I got rosemary. Blueberries to make like smoothies. I got two lemons, um, just to throw in like, you know, tea or something like that. I got tri-colored quinoa, which is really good. Quinoa is like one of the most nutritious grains. So definitely try quinoa. I got chickpeas, also known as garbanzo beans. Um, these are really good and high in like protein, I believe. Um, it's bomb. Then I got a couple of pieces of ginger for like tea. Okay, so this is the second bag here. Um, so I got me some fresh kale. I always get kale from the grocery store. Like kale is really good for you. Really, really good for you. I still got some cilantro because I'm gonna make um, some rice. Cilantro can go in like, oh, I love the smell too. Like it can go on just about anything. Go on your tacos, it can go on in rice. Like cilantro is bomb. I then got some oyster mushrooms. So I'm trying to make some um, jerks, like oyster mushrooms. I really like oyster mushrooms better than like the brown ones. I don't know what they're called, but I just, I can't. The oyster mushrooms like taste really good, especially when you saute them with like good seasoning. So I'm gonna make like jerked um, oysters. Then I got something new, um, Japanese sweet potatoes. I heard these are really good. I usually just get the regular like yams, um, but the guy was like, oh my gosh, you should try this. So I'm trying two for the first time. Um, then I got bay leaves because I'm actually gonna make like a season, um, like a herbal seasoning, like and this needs to go in there. So I'm gonna end up like mashing it up anyway and putting it with the other seasonings. And then I got burdock root. Um, this is really, really good for you. I looked up like the health benefits and it helps with digestion, um, colds, um, it cleans your liver, I believe so. So definitely got this to make my own tea. Next is from Whole Foods. First things first. Skinny Pop is bomb. Like, if you don't like Skinny Pop, especially this one, a lot of people say it doesn't have taste, but to me, it has taste. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, but I got Skinny Pop. Next, I got um, Oat Milk. If you know me and you watch my favorites, you know that this is my new favorite, 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 like, milk alternative. Like, it's bomb. I got three like small peppers um, just to make like food have like a little bit of spice to it. Um, then I got some rigatoni. I watched Sweet Potato Soul like newest video and she talked about like veganizing like her childhood favorite foods and like rigatoni was one of them. Um, so I'm definitely going to make it like the vegan way with the vegan sausage so stay tuned. Let me know if you guys want to do like cooking videos. I'm no pro over here so I don't, I don't want to hear the criticism but I can definitely try it. Next, I got like two cans of coconut milk because I am going, going to be making like rice and quinoa. Um, rice and quinoa. Quinoa and like beans, but I think like the coconut milk is it like a good taste, you know, an even better taste. Like it tastes very bland without it. Um, so I'm definitely gonna use the coconut milk that I got from Whole Foods. Next, I got um, potato tomato paste just to mix it in the rigatoni that I'm gonna make for the week um, then I got vegan Italian sausage it's really good like I felt like it already kind of tastes like Italian pizza ish like this is bomb and I feel like this will go perfect 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 with like the rigatoni instead of like ground turkey ground beef like you get my drugs And lastly, I just got this tomato sauce, and I think that this is super, is this open? Oh, okay, I got scared for a second. Um, I got this tomato basil um, tomato sauce just to put in the rigatoni, and it's like two servings. I don't want to get like a full can just because it's going to make the bags heavier. And then plus, it's only me in here, you know. I'm not cooking for me and Jose yet until like July when we get married, so yeah. I don't buy like a lot, a lot. So I'm just gonna put this away. 
But yeah, that's everything I got from the grocery store. So it is the middle of the, not the middle of the day. I'm the end of the day and I'm about to take off my makeup but I wanted to quickly talk about makeup wipes so I love the simple wipes they are bomb.com but I strayed away from these wipes two weeks ago when I tell you what my face had a breakout so I use the Neutrogena like blue wipes and my skin got so clogged if you have combination skin or sometimes like if you realize that your skin is crazy clogged you definitely need to take a look at your makeup wipes like holy one artist that i've completely been obsessed with is snow allegra um she's like a soulful artist and i love oh my gosh she had a concert i think in new york like two weeks ago or something like that and oh my goodness i was so mad i missed it all right so now that i clean off my makeup i'm about to go in with my skincare products i'm not going to do that on camera because i think this video would just be too long um but i'm going to show what you i'm going to show what i usually use and then i'm gonna close this vlog okay so before closing out this vlog um i use the dermalogica line like i straight away um i stopped using cetaphil just because it just wasn't working for my skin anymore i don't know why maybe it might be the weather um but i've been loving the dermalogica brand so i use an intensive moisture cleanser and then the daily microfoliant the only thing about the microfoliant is sometimes it doesn't really exfoliate the way i want but it improves like my skin texture when i tell you my skin is like baby soft like but however when it comes to really exfoliating this is not going to like remove a lot of that dead skin i feel like maybe throughout the week as you use it but like using like an, a strong stronger exfoliator like this is definitely not it but i really really like this so anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed this short vlog with going grocery shopping with me and just chilling doing skincare stuff and just talking